Grieving mom send message to daughter's killer in NYC. Let's see what's up with this. This about the two little girls and shit. I miss her so much. <laughs> her tears run deep after losing her 19-year-old daughter, Samaya Spain. This cell phone video obtained by Pix11 News shows the moment Spain and her twin sister, Sanaya, were brutally attacked. That Yo! <laughs> Yo! Yo, I'm laughing not because the situation is funny, but I'm laughing because all the dick riders, all the motherfuckers that like to say I be just talking because I have a mouth, they go right there. What I say is facts. But then I called it without seeing this. I try to tell you niggas, bro. I try to tell you niggas. Samaya apparently being stabbed in the chest and neck. Bro, you could clearly see. Attacked. Bring it back. That's bring back to it a video. By Pix11 News shows the moment Spain and her. Look, look. I'm gonna pause it right there. Shorty got a bottle in her hand, and she going up like this. Let they try to make it look like it wasn't no other people and shit. Shorty got a bottle in her hand. Son getting jump. Son getting jump. He's getting jumped. I understand. Like, this is what you people got to understand, right? Yes. I think it's cowardly that he had to use a weapon for a few girls and shit. But we got to take into account that this is a 19-year-old kid. I, well, I'm guessing that's how old he is because I'm guessing they're around the same age group. I'm not sure, right? But this is like a young individual that's intoxicated, that doesn't, he's not mature enough to make the best decisions. Even when they sober, they make bad decisions. So think about it. He's intoxicated, plus he's being assaulted by women. Pride kicks in. Anger, niggas know you drink liquor, it makes you more angry. You feel me? Jordy's pulling up with a bottle. From what I'm hearing, Outside of all this media shit, it was a male involved as well. The male punched the dude and dropped him and shit. It's a lot to this story, bro. I just never really wanted to talk about it because I know it comes with a lot of backlash because I'm going to say the real and people are not going to like it because people expect you to be more sensitive when it comes to certain topics. But I like to say the real shit instead of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't try to just be liked. I try to say real shit. You know what I'm saying? Twin sister Sanaya were brutally attacked. That's Samaya apparently being stabbed in the chest and neck. But we are stopping the video right there. Those were deadly points that he punctured in her body. That even if she fought it, I don't think she could have won the fight. LaShawn Goodson is more than heartbroken. See, look, I understand mama loves pain, you feel me? Sorry for, sorry for your loss and all that shit. But me reacting to this video though, I ain't go front. Like I'm a I'ma go off of what I see. I'm not gonna go off of um the way I think everyone else is gonna think or I or say the thing everyone else wants me to say. I'm gonna go based on what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So don't <laughs> I'm not I'm not trying to deal with arguing with a bunch of people over my reaction to this video because this is definitely a sensitive topic and I was trying to avoid it. But um I'm gonna just cover it because everybody's asking me about it, you know? Thinking about the death of her daughter, but how she died, Goodson says, makes the pain that much harder. She didn't want to be bothered. Why did she have to die? Because she you're not who she wanna be accompanied by. Walk away. Don't don't hit on no girl. Don't fight no female. No matter what, go on about your business. It all started early Sunday morning. Her twins went to grab food at this deli on St. Mark's Place. A man apparently was trying to hit on the teens. After rejecting his advances, things escalated from there. At one point, the deli owner had to lock the doors to keep the man out. The twins Big thought ass the kitchen was knife. clear, but once they walked out of the deli... My daughter, Sanaya, was arguing with the guy in my daughter's defense outside and he stabbed her and she went to the floor and at that very moment Samaya went to attack him and he stabs her in the heart and when she went down he stabs her in the neck 
While this mother tries to deal with her grief, she sends a message to the person responsible. I just want him to suffer every day like I am. All right, mommy, I understand your pain, but think about it like this, right? We got to also teach these kids to, you know, also know their place in life. Whether or not the young man is wrong or right, well, he's wrong if he's trying to holler at them and they didn't want to talk to him, he's wrong, right? All right, let's, that's, that's a given. But women aren't supposed to be so aggressive with men. You feel what I'm saying? As far as hitting, attacking, and all of these things, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you're not supposed to be doing these type of things. It's no excuse. Yes, men are stronger. We know that. But it's no excuse. Because if we keep teaching females that, oh, yeah, when you hit men, they're not supposed to hit you. Women are going to continue to hit men, fight with men, feel like they can do what they want to men. But then there's always going to be that person that's not going to take they're hitting, you know what I'm saying? And they can retaliate. So I think the best thing was for a female that was getting accused or, I said accused, um, getting harassed was to either call somebody or call the police. You feel me? Like, look, we're going to call the cops. Instead of feeling like she has to be tough and go back and forth with a man, she could have said, you know what? We're calling the cops. You're doing too much. We're calling the cops. You feel me? They could have stayed in the store and called the cops for all that. Because if he actually hit them before they went into the store, right, or attacked them or made them feel unsafe in any way, they could have called the cops when they went to the store. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, well, they probably didn't want to get him locked up, you know, all these things. But if he's that aggressive and on top of that intoxicated, they should have called the cops. You feel me? That's what they should have did as females. You know what I mean? And... The mother is saying in her story, basically, all right, so Shorty, the one that got hit, in the, that got stabbed in the chest, was defending her other sister. She tried to attack him. Yes, that's a given. That's your sister. Twin sister at that. You're definitely going to defend her. But how did it get to like the physical altercation. And we got to go check social media too because um, social media is going to show if they searched his name up to give her, like to follow him on Instagram or to find his Instagram or for him to follow her on Instagram or whatever. And like this story is so many stories and shit. You know, the streets be talking and shit. I'm hearing that she gave him her Instagram, but she didn't follow him back. And you know, her other sister came pulled up like, yo, why you talking to dude? I don't I don't know. None of us was there. You feel me? But we're hearing stories and I'm just I'm just like trying to analyze all the different stories I heard and shit like that. And I feel like in a situation like this, females gotta know how to maneuver more. Yo, I ain't gonna front. If more mothers would teach women to uh, like lock into their femininity, a lot of situations they could get out of. A lot of situation they could get out of. You don't want to talk to him. You could block him on Instagram after. You follow that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to teach your daughters to know how to get out of situations like that. A lot of people not going to agree with me because they want me to be more sensitive about the topic. But if you really listen to what I'm saying, what I'm saying makes sense. If she would have said, yo, you know what? All right, here's my number. And then block his number. She don't have to worry nothing about nothing. Or she to say, yo, here's my Instagram and block his Instagram. She don't have to worry about nothing. An ignorant person would say, but she don't have to do that. But it's locking into your femininity. You're going to calm the situation down now because he thinks he got what he wanted. But in all actuality, you just did that to avoid a situation like this. You got to know how, how to move. Like I tell my girl all the time, niggas going to come up to you and talk to you outside. You don't have to you don't have to talk to them, but you gotta be respectful. When they come up to you, like, no, no, thank you. I'm good, you know. I have who I'm with or whatever. They tell you you look beautiful, tell them thank you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know how to maneuver because once yo, you never know who you're dealing with outside, bro. Some people aren't mentally stable and shit. So you gotta account for all these things. Don't just account for people in a regular state of mind. Account for all the people that aren't mentally stable and they doing shit outside too. We know what world we live in. We got to be prepared for these type of things. You feel me? Everybody can't just sit here and just say, oh, yeah, 
Let's just focus on bashing him. What is going to stop this from happening to a next set of females? It's not going to stop anything. How about you teach the females how to avoid it? You feel me? And like I said before, like RP to her, you know, it's a sad situation. It's definitely a sad situation. I didn't even want to talk on this situation, tell you the truth, because I feel like no matter what I say, it's going to somehow offend somebody. You know what I'm saying? But so much people are asking me, yo, bro, yeah, yeah, yo, you should you should check this out. So I'm just, you know, putting my little one twos in and shit like that. Like I definitely feel sorry for Mama Love because I have kids myself, you know what I'm saying? So I know how this shit go. I want him to wake up every day in a cell. Just like I gotta wake up every day with my mind in a cell. And the community wants the same thing, standing in solidarity with the family. No means no in our community. If in fact that this woman didn't want you to say anything or do anything to her, you should have just walked away. So the call to the action right now is to say to the individuals that committed this crime, turn yourself in. You may run, but you're not going to hide. <laughs> Who's you, you may run, but you're not going to hide. It's crazy. But um, like think about it, right? Yes, no is definitely no. If a female doesn't want to talk to you, she doesn't want to be touched, no, all these things, I agree with that 100%. That no is no. People be like, all right, let me show you something. It's not what you do. It's how you do it. You can tell somebody no, but you can also tell somebody no in a way that hurts their feelings. And they might respond, respond with the hurt, right? And because you already not interested and they respond with the hurt. Now you got something else to say that's more hurtful. And then y'all get into an exchange of words. But this is something that could have been avoided. You know what I'm saying? You just got to know how to maneuver and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And I know I'm not saying son is right. I'm not covering up for him. I'm just trying to tell you guys a way that can probably avoid it for a next set of females. You know what I'm saying? And there's a backstory to every every situation and shit. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see what this shit unfolds like and you know what happens in the future with this situation and shit. I mean... If son did what he did, then, you know, he got to face his repercussions. That's on him. You know what I'm saying? But shit, that nigga probably sobered up and, and heard what he did and probably is lost. Like, he probably somewhere scared for his life right now. Feel me? Probably not even scared for his freedom. He's scared for his life right now because he don't know what could happen. You know what I'm saying? Well, yo, hopefully, you know, the family gets some type of closure and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully your mama love, hopefully you're able to heal from this, hopefully the twin sister able to heal from it, whoever else is going through the grief and all that, hopefully all y'all can heal from it, you know, I send my condolences to all of y'all and shit like that, you feel me? I know people not gonna, you know, take me sincerely, but I don't know how to say it no other way, this is just, it's just how, you know, but I, I sincerely mean it though, you know?